In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade the GNS3 network automation appliance. This appliance is a Docker container, and when upgrading a Docker container in GNS3, you need to follow a number of steps to successfully upgrade the container, and that's what I'm going to show you in this video. The GNS3 network automation appliance has been upgraded. Once again, I want to thank Andrush for the hard work that he's done in creating and upgrading this appliance. And I also want to give my thanks to both Julian and Jeremy for the work that they do with GNS3 to make our lives as network engineers a lot easier. In this topology, I've got the original network automation appliance, a layer two switch, and a Cisco IOS V layer two switch. I'm also connected to a NAT cloud. The network automation appliance that I've currently got in GNS3 supports Python 2, but notice Python 3 is not supported. At the moment, I have no files in my home directory. So I'm gonna create a file called netmiko1.py to show you that files are persistent in the root directory of this container. So here's a basic netmiko script that I'll copy into that file and save it. And then I'll use Python 2.7 and run the netmiko script. That script SSHs to the switch and then runs the show IP interface brief command. So cat netmiko 1.py, we are running this command on this switch and then printing the output. So once we've upgraded the Docker container, that script should still be there. So what I'll do is save my configuration of my Cisco switch. And what I'll do now is shut down the topology the topology that I've got is automation upgrade. I'll create a new project called test upgrade. The reason I'm doing this is I wanna show you that after upgrading, I can successfully bring back that previous project and my Python script will be restored. The first step is to delete the Docker appliance template from the graphical user interface. So I'll delete this automation container from my workspace because it's not required. And what I'm gonna do now is delete it from the GNS3 GUI. So I'm deleting that automation container. Now before I do that, under GNS3 preferences, Docker containers, notice I currently have the network automation container. So I could delete it here, or I could simply delete it here. So I'm gonna delete the template, go back to preferences, under Docker containers, notice the network automation container no longer exists. That's not enough, however. You need to do additional steps to upgrade your Docker container. The second step is to open the GNS3 VM and go to open console or shell so I'm in the shell of the GNS3 VM, and I need to use the command docker ps a more. This will show me any Docker containers available on the GNS3 VM. Now, one thing I have noticed is that the network automation container doesn't show up in this list. So if I grep for auto, notice it's not shown. If you wanna show it in the output, what you could do is, is open up a project with an in and run that project and then you'll see it in the output here. But I don't need that because I know what the name is. It's the network underscore automation container. So to remove it, you're gonna use the command docker rmi gns3 network underscore automation. 
that Docker container has now been removed. If that Docker container is not available, notice the error message that you get. So if you make a typing mistake as an example, we are told that that container doesn't exist. So I have successfully removed the network automation container. So on the GNS3 website, I can go to Marketplace, Appliances, search for the network automation container or appliance, and then download the template. The template is downloaded to my local computer. So back in the GNS3 GUI, I can go to File, Import Appliance, and select the network automation appliance that I've just downloaded and click Open. The wizard starts by showing an overview of the container. I'm told that I need to run it on the GNS3 VM. I'm gonna click Next. I'm told that the console type is Telnet. There's one adapter and notice the name of this container, GNS3 Network Automation Latest. Click Next. I'm told that the appliance will be available in the guest category. I'm gonna click Finish. Network Automation Appliance has now been installed. So what I can do is drag the Network Automation Appliance to the workspace. And what you'll notice is GNS3 does a pull from Docker. If this doesn't happen, it's not pulling the latest image from Docker. And you need to make sure that you've deleted the image in the GNS3 VM. We are essentially forcing GNS3 to download the new Docker appliance. If that doesn't happen, it means it's not successfully upgraded. So notice we've successfully pulled the GNS3 network automation appliance from Docker. I can start it up and open up a console. So here's my console, Python 2 still works but notice Python 3 also works. So print hello world, this is Python 3. So I've successfully upgraded the Docker container to support both Python 2 as well as Python 3. So what I'll do is shut that down and open up the network automation project. that we were previously working on. I'll start it up. Open up a console. Here's the network automation appliance. So Python 2 works, Python 3 works. And if I type ls, notice the netmeka file is still there. So cat netmeka 1.py, that's the script that we had previously created and notice it's still available. So even though we upgraded the appliance, the scripts in the root directory have been saved. The Cisco switch is still booting up, but notice Python 2 works, and again Python 3 works, and my script is still there. So let's run it now that the Cisco switch has booted up. I can type Python netmeko onepy and what that should do is it should SSH to the switch and get a list of interfaces, and that's what it's done. List of interfaces in Python, list of interfaces on the switch. So we've successfully upgraded the network automation appliance. The next comment that's often made is when I shut down GNS3, I lose all my changes. Now that depends on the Docker appliance. This Docker appliance supports both Python 2 and Python 3, and my script netmeko one is still there after the upgrade. This project is called Automation Upgrade. So what I'll do is shut down GNS3, and I'll shut down the GNS3 VM. So the GNS3 VM is now being shut down and my GUI is shut down. Let's see what happens when I restart GNS3. 
is my appliance upgraded? Are my scripts still available? So I'll start up Genius 3. The Genius 3 VM is booting up. So that's booted successfully. I'll go to Recent Projects and select Automation Upgrade Genius 3. The project is now available. I'll start it up and open up a console. So here's my network automation appliance. LS shows the script as being available. And there you go, Python 2 works, and so does Python 3. So everything has been kept and maintained between upgrades. So that's an example of how to upgrade a Docker appliance in GNS3. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel I wish you all the very best.